Alrighty, we were talking a little bit before the break about the comment that we heard from a false teacher, because after all, today is False Teacher Tuesday. We specifically heard this little quote from an individual trying to convince you that it is okay to be rich and drive a Rolls Royce. The whole point is I'm trying to get you to see, to get you out of this malaise of thinking that Jesus and the disciples were poor, and then relating that to you, thinking that you as a child of God have to follow Jesus. The Bible says that he has left us an example that we should follow his steps. That's the reason why I drive a Rolls Royce. <laughs> I'm following Jesus' steps. Got a boy. Way to sacrifice for your king. What's wrong with that theology exactly? Well, everything. Everything. Jesus, although he was rich, he made himself nothing. Sacrificed everything. We really don't need to look much further than that first. He really humbled himself. He, he denied his rights as God. Took on human form. Humbled himself even unto death. He didn't live a fancy schmancy lifestyle at all, period. And all these folks are up to is exactly what the Bible says is typical of a false teacher. Guess what it's about? The bling bling. Is that money? Does that mean money? I thought it meant money. Bling bling? The bling bling. Oh, it's jewelry. Jesus didn't wear bling bling. Jesus. (laughs) That just sounds dumb, doesn't it? Jesus didn't wear the bling bling. No, no. See, I'm all hip now that I've been looking at the top ten music charts here for the Billboard. Don't. Jesus didn't wear the bling bling because he humbled himself. He went from heaven to this dump, this fallen place. I even even if even if Jesus had lived in a five thousand square foot home with plush carpet, which didn't even exist back then, we could still say we shouldn't be living richly. And driving around in a Rolls Royce because of the the depth that he sank to, even from heaven to a 5,000 square foot house, is poverty compared to what he had. These people are in it for the money. And if you want to read about it, check out First Peter, check out Second Timothy. They're everywhere. False teachers are always about cashish. It is always, always, always about money. And so if you are ever thinking about a listening to a preacher like this who's trying to encourage you to get rich from Christianity, that smell is false teacher.